Uh, Coach, thanks so much for joining us on the call. If you would um, just give us your thoughts on the game uh, against UCF, please. We expect to see as you're on the road to um, uh, close up the, the conference portion of the season against SMU on Saturday, please. A tough ball game for us. Uh, you know, UCF, a uh, very talented team, you know, very well coached. I, I thought our guys did a, did a nice job of, uh, you know, playing all four quarters and we made a rush there at the end. Unfortunately, just quite didn't do enough to, to get it done and walk away with, with a win. Uh, we've had some close games this year, but that's, that's the AAC. It's a tough conference. and Every week you're going up against really – talented football teams and uh, disappointing, but we've got to move on. We've uh, you know, playing another team that had a tough game, uh, SMU, they've had an outstanding season, and I know they're probably disappointing in their last ball game, similar type outcome that we experienced against UCF and, uh, you know, going over to Dallas, we've had some tough ball games against them. My first three seasons here at, at, at Tulane, and, uh, you know, I know we're going to have another you know, a uh, tough ball game with them on Saturday. They've they've had an outstanding season. And they've got a, a lot of great ability there. They've, they've hit on a lot of kids that have come in and, and uh, very explosive on the off- offensive side of the ball and very opportunistic uh, defensively. Open up to questions for Coach Willie Fritz, please. Star one on your telephone keypad will put you in the queue, and then the operator will introduce you. And we'll hear from Dan Tortora with WakeUpCallDT.com. Good afternoon, Coach. How are you? Good. How are you, Dan? Doing very well. Thanks for asking. I know it was a it was a hard fought game here that didn't end up going your way at home, thirty four thirty one that you were just speaking about. But just what you could say about the resolve of the team, the never say die. You had two touchdowns in the final seven minutes of the game. Just just what your positive takeaways could be from that. Well, you know, our, our guys are going to, you know, play all the way through the, the end of the game. You know, the big thing I talked to them about is you got to play with great effort. You got to play hard every week, and you got to play tough. You know, you got to be physical. You got to you got to be able to tackle and block and those kind of things. Last but not least, you got to be got to play smart. And uh, you know, there, we had too many missed missed assignments in, in the ball game, and, and uh, in order for us to you know, win consistently, and you know we've got to play smart as well, and you know that's something that we're really stressing this week, which we do every week. But uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm proud of the fact that we're you know playing until the bitter end, but we we need to come away with better outcomes. And for you, uh, knowing that, that whatever happens in this game moving forward, that you are bowl eligible, just what that does for this team. I know you have SMU coming up, but knowing that there is life beyond this, uh, just what that does for the program and, and what you're trying to build at Tulane right now? Well, there, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's, you, you want to play the bowl game every year. You know, we, we hopefully we get, um, we accomplish more than that each season. Uh, you know, Tulane's only played in back-to-back bowl games once in school history in 1979 and 80. And has never won back-to-back bowl games. So we've got some, we got some things out there, but we, we you know, First and foremost, we need to go play well on Saturday, you know, at 3 o'clock against SMU, a really talented team. Well, thank you, Coach, and happy Thanksgiving. You too. Thank you. And do we have other questions for Coach Fritz? Star one on your telephone keypad, if so. Coach, I'll join you in wishing you a happy Thanksgiving. Appreciate your time, uh, not only today.